So happy 4th of July from Mangaman Homestead. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be top working a, um, this was a Namdak Mai tree that we cut down and we let it regrow. We did this about two months ago, maybe maybe a little more. And now it's re-sprouted and we're gonna switch this over to a nebula, all right? Because our Namdak Mai, we, we uh, Namdak Mai doesn't serve what we need in the orchard nearly as well as we like. And we want to use our nebulas because it's one of our new exciting mangoes and it has a lot more potential for us. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to remove these excess shoots that I'm not going to top work. So I take these out like this. And see, there's multiple, multiple shoots coming from each of these nodes. So I'm just taking off ones that I don't like. Just selecting out what I'm gonna use. Okay, okay, there. Now you can graft, there's no rule on how many you need to graft. I like to graft three or four on the tree. Uh, typically, uh, that will give you a very good chance of getting survival. So, now uh, that's one, two, three, four, oh, still too many. So let's see, I will probably take out this one and maybe I'll take out that one. Okay, perfect. So now I'm down to four shoots. I've already prepared my budwood. Here's my budwood right here. Okay, I have four bud sticks. So now I'm going to try to match up as best I can which th with the size of the different uh, shoots. So now I take this, I'm gonna come in here. Now these root systems are, are strong right now, so I'm not too concerned. I'm still gonna have to graft, actually one of the, this maybe, we'll see if this works, but I'm gonna decapitate that right there. And then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna move here and I'm going to take my knife like this. I put it right down the middle of this chute and I'm going to split it open like that. Now this one, the, the, the rootstock is a little wider than my scion. So I will put it over to one side. You'll see what I, talking about. Take one cut there. Uh, didn't get quite deep enough, so I'll do it again. There, just clean it up one here on this side. There. Now, I'm going to take that thing like this. Doesn't matter which side you go to, but you want to push it to one side. You want to match up one of the... Um, one of the uh, sides of your scion and your rootstock so that it will have connection onto the cambium. Then I take my tape. You gotta cinch this up pretty firm because these things are a little big and I, I need to have the best contact I can get. I just stretch it a little bit. And then I tie it off like that. We'll do one more, just so you can get an idea of what this looks like. Now this one, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave a leaf. I like to leave leaves on the rootstocks. It is typically a good thing to do because it gives additional energy for the plant to come out. So I do like that. And I take my scion and I take one shot there and I'll see if I can do this cleaner than the last one. Pretty good. That fits even better. Now that one is kind of even. Uh, both the scion and the rootstock are the same size. That was a snorting of our dog on the other side of the fence. 
Juninho is trying to become famous. All right. Now I tie it. Like that. Okay. And then I'll tie it off like that. Now, when I get done here, I will probably take some of these branches and put them here to shade this a little bit. Just so for the very beginning, I like to have them shaded because it's kind of brutal out here in the orchard to have new, new top works without shading them. And again, the reason we did this is we want to switch over this, what was a, um, it was a healthy Namdak Mai, and we want to switch it over to a nebula that is serving our purpose better now. And the advantage of doing this is this tree, nebula tends to be a smaller tree anyway. And so if we can do this, we can have fruiting possibly next year. It's not highly likely, but it is, it's early enough in the year that we hope we can do it and get fruit for next year. And that is, I think we got everything and, and, uh, and I think that's what we're going to do. And so thank you very much. Mangleman out.